One of the most basic things in digital photography is what mode you set your DSLR to. The mode determines how the aperture and shutter speed are set. Remember that aperture is the opening in the lens through which light enters the camera. When you set aperture on your DSLR, you're changing the size of that opening. And shutter speed is the amount of time that the shutter is open when taking a photo. Your average DSLR has a minimum of four modes. And you know many DSLRs have a few more than that, but the four main modes are manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, and program. Let's chat about each of these and when you might use them. In manual mode, you choose the shutter speed and the aperture, and the camera will not stray from those settings. I use manual mainly when I'm in the studio using my strobes or my speed lights for lighting. I use manual in this situation because the camera won't be able to take the lighting into account when figuring out what aperture or shutter speed is correct for the situation. Since I optically trigger my strobes or speed lights, the camera doesn't have any knowledge of the light that's going to come into the situation when the lighting gets triggered. In aperture priority mode, you choose the aperture and the camera determines the shutter speed so your photo is properly exposed. That way you can control depth of field. Remember that aperture and depth of field are best buds. The size of your aperture will directly affect the depth of field. And as a refresher, depth of field is the distance between the nearest and farthest things in your photo that are in focus. Basically, it's, what in, it's what's in focus in your scene. And you can shoot, use depth of field to draw attention to something in the scene. There are a slew of situations when aperture priority would be a good choice. Any time when you want to get a certain effect with focus, like in a portrait when you want to blur out the background or when you want to draw attention to something by making it in focus while the rest of the fo photo is blurred. Uh, or on the flip side, you could use it when you're taking a landscape photo and you want a lot in focus. Incidentally, I tend to use this mode the most often. In shutter priority mode, you choose the shutter speed and the camera determines the aperture so the photo is properly exposed. The most common use for shutter priority is when shooting something that is moving like a race car or a runner or maybe a bird in flight. Uh, you can speed up the shutter so that you can catch the subject in a crisp image. Of course, you could also get some motion blur depending on the look you're going for. Um, I also like to use shutter priority when I'm in a museum. There uh, usually isn't a lot of available light and you usually can't use a flash and I'm typically holding the camera rather than using a tripod, so it's easy to get blurred photos. However, if I set the shutter speed to something that will allow me to hold the camera and still get a crisp image, the camera will find the aperture to obtain the right exposure. Now for program mode. In program mode, you set neither the aperture or the shutter speed. The camera does it all for you. And this is a great option if you just want to take snapshots without having to worry about camera settings or if you're handing your camera to someone else to take a picture of you. Uh, I also think it's a good tool if you're just learning about photography. You can take photos in different situations and look to see what aperture and shutter speed the camera chose. Other modes on your DSLR um, are maybe program mode or landscape mode. You even might have an auto mode, which will figure everything out for you, including flash. And some cameras even have a guide mode, which is kind of cool. Um, it takes you through a series of questions on the LCD screen to determine how to set the camera. I personally take advantage of all four of the modes that I talked about. Uh, some will tell you that you aren't a photographer until you're shooting in manual. <laughs> personally, I think that's a bunch of baloney. <laughs> DSLRs have come a long way and they're so smart these days, why not use the technology? I like having the option to use manual, but I also enjoy being able to use aperture or shutter priority, especially when I'm in a bit of a hurry. Sometimes I even like to use program mode. I don't think there's anything wrong with shooting however you want to shoot. Just experiment and see what you think. Now if you're wondering how to change the mode of your DSLR or how to adjust aperture and shutter speed, every camera's different. You're just going to have to um, look in your camera manual to find out, but usually you're, you're using buttons and dials on the camera body or you're using the menus in the camera. So let me know if you have any questions.